Hi everyone, how are you doing? Before this video begins, uh, I actually had um, a surgery to remove my teeth, like my wisdom teeth, and I'm still recovering, so if my face does weird things and if I seem like a bit swallowed, it's normal. Uh, but I just really wanted to make a video this week and I missed doing videos like this. I don't know, I just... Maybe it's the good weather, but I'm kind of feeling it. Okay, so I decided today to try the Pastel Goth Aesthetic. Um, so, before we begin, I'm going to first tell you a little bit about it. Oh my god! I forgot to do some research uh, about like accounts to follow, because I usually do that. If you're new, uh, I have like a series of video where I try different aesthetics, and in each of my video, I tell you guys like what accounts to follow if you're interested in the aesthetic and I forgot to do that. I was so excited, I just grabbed my camera. Uh, yeah, so I'll just leave them right here. Oh my god, I hate my room. I did a makeover, like a room makeover years ago, like maybe two years ago. I did a room makeover and I feel like ever since, like my room was good like for like two, three months. And now I hate it, like I really want to change everything. <laughs> so today we're trying Pastel Goth Aesthetic. If you don't know the aesthetic, uh, I discovered it back uh, when I was in middle school, I think. Like late middle school, something. It's basically um, a style that mixes both pastel and goth. Uh... Okay, last disclaimer of this video. I am going to pronounce some words wrong and I'm sorry for that, but after the surgery uh, my toe wasn't functioning the way it used to and I know that sometimes I do make uh, pronunciation um, mistakes, but this time it was really because of my jaw and surgery, so yeah, uh, let's get back to the video. I used to be really into that, you know how people have their emo faces? My emo face was a pastel goth face, like, I kinda went into emo and then whoop! <laughs> it's really cute, like creepy cute, you know? So I'm gonna talk about the fashion compositions. You can have like goth dresses and, and they also take a lot of inspiration from go Lolita, like goth Lolita, gothic Lolita and uh, also Harajuku fashion. So I'll try to put some pictures or a mood board or something that I'll do. They also usually wear like platform shoes. For their accessories, they have a lot of this like creepy cute kind of vibe with like eyeballs or like, where is it? Well, you'll see them later, but like hands and skeletons and with bows and flowers, you know, it's like a mix of these. Also spikes, like spike crowns, things, headbands. Yeah, so basically for the accessories, it's like very like mainly like uh, body parts and mix them with like ribbons and lace and flowers, things like that. Most of the time, uh, the hair is like pastel. Now for the makeup, um, it's usually black lipstick or pastel. They also wear pastel eyeshadow and with like a winged eyeliner that is very thick and very dark. Okay, now for the hobbies, I couldn't really pin any hobby to this aesthetic. My neighbors are watching. <laughs> they're not watching, they're staring. <laughs> Just ignore them. Uh, I couldn't really pin a hobby for this aesthetic because, you know, like cottage core, I like it was obvious for me, but the only thing that I could kind of see them doing was like making accessories. I don't know if it's just me, but you know these these things like very creepy cute accessories like phone cases. Overall, it's mainly like dressing up, doing makeup, and like being on the internet. Yeah. So that was it. Uh, now that I talked about it, I'm going to try it. <laughs> so first, I'm going to do my makeup, and then I'm gonna change and show you the results. Hopefully it turns out good because I didn't prepare at all. Okay, so I'm gonna take up this and I put some music on the background. I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to put my hair away from my face. I first apply some foundation. Not too much though. I'm trying not to apply too much foundation because I feel like this one's very heavy. I'm using the 
can stop one stop from NYX and it's very good but I feel like it's very heavy. I should really, <laughs> really clean my brushes. I've been procrastinating doing this. Okay, now I'm going to do the eyeshadow. I don't know which one will be pastel enough. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one here. It looks white, but I don't know if you can tell. Okay, so I did both eyes and now I actually want to make the um, the corner basically just here. I'm going to make it darker, so I'm going to use this very dark purple and I'm going to go in the corner with this. Yeah, basically just like that and I'm going to go under my eye and up. Okay. Now is the tricky part, the eyeliner, so we want it very thick and dark, so... Okay, um, I think I'm gonna do like the inner corner because that's something that I do sometimes. Take my thing... my finger. <laughs> I'm gonna take my finger and just take some pastel purple and come right here. And then with the darker one, I'm going to draw and just try to connect. Ooh! Now I'm going to apply the mascara. Just apply a lot or use false lashes if you have them because they have like very big eyelashes. Okay, so I'm done with my eyes. I actually really like it. I never thought I would like like very dark makeup, but I really like how my eyes turned out. Okay, so now for the lips, um, I'm gonna first apply um, a red lipstick, but I'm gonna make it darker because I don't have black lipstick and I don't want to do it with like eyeshadow because it doesn't turn out good, so... Now I'm actually gonna use this palette and... There's this, like, these two very dark eyeshadows and they are purple, so I'm gonna use... I guess the first one's fine. Yeah, so I'm gonna use the this one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's disgusting. Okay, so that's it for the makeup. I really like it. I'm usually more of a pastel pink kind of makeup girl, but I really like how it turned out. Anyways, so um, now I'm going to do my hair. Actually, no. Now I'm going to change and I'm going to put on the wig and I'm gonna be right back to show you how I style it because it's so messy. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to put on my wig, uh, so I wanted to show you how I do it, it's not the best way, but if you have like very thick hair like me and long, it's really difficult. Uh, I personally haven't found a way to wear my wig in a way that doesn't look like it, you know, like in from like every angle, but I figured out a little something just for like pictures and some videos and Anyways, like you can still see from the, like behind, but I'm going to show you anyways how I do it.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know how I did. I I'm pretty happy with the results. I'm living my teenage dream because I always wanted to look like these tumble girls. Um, and I think I quite succeeded. I don't know. Uh, but I really like it. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I try to post once a week. I also have a TikTok now. If you want to follow me, I'll leave all the links in the description as usual. And yeah, I'll see you very, very soon. Please take care.